to start off this first little part of the video, I just wanted to give a huge thanks. My channel, Miss Kaylin, has now reached a thousand subscribers, and that just blows my mind. That is so awesome and so cool. So I just wanted to take a moment to thank each and every one of you subscribers. Don't worry, a giveaway will be coming up shortly, so don't you worry, I'll have a video with that coming with more details soon. Anyways, to kick off today's video, I thought I'd be a little bit festive, you know, and do a Christmas tag. I created this tag myself, and it is the Christmas Time Book Tag. First up, we have seasonal colors. Pick a book that has green, red, or both colors on it. The book that I chose was Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows because it has a little bit of red or orange. I don't know what color this is. It looks red, I mean, or it could be kind of orange -ish. I don't know. Depends on how you look at it. We have green on his shirt and more green on the back. And also why I picked this book because there's so much buzz about Harry Xmas on Twitter and booktube so I just kind of chose that because of that reason. The next category is Christmas song slash caroling. Pick a book quote that you know well. This quote is coming out of Ignite Me on page 301. And we are quotation mark. Inverted and upside down. Clinging to one another. At the end of this life sentence. Trapped by life we did not choose. It's time, I think, to break free. Next up is Christmas Travels. What is one book slash genre that you like to read when you travel? Earlier this year I was flying back into Chicago and I was reading four and let me just tell you that was the best thing ever. That was cool. That was so cool and I'm glad I did that on my part because it just it made me feel all the feels and it was a fast read also while I was traveling because delays and all that fun airport shenanigans stuff. I really loved the pace of this. This was really fast, quick, easy, enjoyable, and I loved it. And yes, flying into Chicago reading this is totally badass, so if you ever have the time or chance to do it, do it. Next up we have Christmas Dinner. The book has made you feel completely full and I'm going to have to say The Maze Runner by James Dashner. Holy cow, this book left me satisfied. This book left me in a food coma. Kind of book hangover, but food coma for this question. Holy cow, there's just so much action packed, so much awesome adventure-ness going on. And by the time that I got to the very end, I was like, oh my god, I don't know what to do, and I'm just like, ooh, that was a good book, like, I just ate me a whole bunch of food, now I don't know what to do, except for sleep it off. So, that's how I feel about this book, it is really awesome, definitely my number one pick for, my number one read for 2014. The next category, I saw Mommy Kissing Santa Claus. What is one hot romance you can't get over with? Chapter 55, read this, you will find out why it is so freaking hot, holy cow, this romance triumphs all, so Merry Christmas to you if you want to get all nice and have a kinky Christmas. And our last question, Christmas Day. What is one book that you hope to see under the Christmas tree? There aren't a lot of books out that I really want or really need for Christmas, but if I would have to choose one book, it would have to be the Divergent. I know this is not the Collector's Edition, but I want the Collector's Edition. This is by Veronica Roth. I mean, I just can't live without that extra bonus material, and I just feel like having another copy and having them all match in hardback would just be awesome and it would look awesome on the shelf. Anyways, that is it for today's video and these are the people that I tag. Ginger Reads Laney, Loving Den Books, Peru's Project, Mary and Misty, and last but not least, Witty over at Witty Novels. Anyways, thank you for watching this video and hit, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and I will see you next time with a new video.